Hi there, this is Dr. Matthew J. Trom from Engineer Inc. and the Bellevue Middle School Edible Learning Lab. Uh, this is the first of four videos in which we describe how to build uh, a simple weather station using components that you can find uh, either laying around at home uh, or just around the neighborhood, uh, hardware stores, grocery stores, and so forth. Uh, this instrument that I've got uh, in focus is a rain gauge, uh, the first of four instruments. And uh, if you stick around for a few minutes, um, I will show you how I built it. Uh, and then we'll take it outside and see how it works. Uh, so stand by and I'll give you uh, instructions on how to put it together. Okay, so these are the components that are required to build the rain gauge. Uh, I have a ruler here. I have a hot glue gun. I have a couple of hot glue sticks. I have a mason jar and I have a block of wood. Let me describe these components in a little bit more detail so you can see uh, if you're building from home what, what you want to look for as you're picking components. So the first uh, is this ruler. Um, this ruler uh, has a, a flat bottom. And we're going to be measuring in, in inches because at least in the U.S., uh, rain is measured in, in inches of accumulation. So what's important here um, is that this flat bottom of the ruler um, corresponds in location very closely to where uh, the zero inch uh, is located, where they start measuring inches from. In some cases, you can buy rulers that have a, a significant gap between the edge of the ruler and where uh, ruler starts measuring in inches. And if you pick a ruler that's like that, uh, a, a significant amount of water will have to accumulate in your mason jar before you can actually start measuring. Um, so that's less desirable than one um, where the edge is quite close. Um, if you get a plastic ruler, um, it is possible to just uh, use a piece of sandpaper, for example, to shave down the edge of the ruler so that uh, it's close to where uh, you start measuring in inches. The uh, second component is a mason jar, um, and I picked a mason jar intentionally that has um, a wide mouth and very flat edges. Uh, the reason for the flat edges, if I move the ruler in here, you'll be able to see. Uh, the reason for the flat edges is because we're going to actually stick the ruler into the mason jar. And if I turn it here, it'll be easier to see. Um, and we want the edge of the ruler to coincide very closely with the edge of the mason jar. So if we end up picking a mason jar um, that, that has a bell shape, for example, a lot of them have uh, wide bodies and um, very small mouths, um, <clears throat> you end up in a situation where you can't actually put the ruler in there correctly uh, and glue it down. Um, so, so that's what we want to look for is a wide mouth mason jar with essentially flat uh, edges. Uh, before we get too far into this, I do want to measure the diameter of the mason jar. That um, is going to be uh, an important feature um, in <coughs> understanding how this device works. So I'm just going to line it up here uh, using the ruler that I've already got, and it's hard to see because of the lighting, but um, this mason jar is, is exactly three inches in diameter. The mouth is three inches in diameter. So I'll keep that in mind um, as I move forward and do my calculations. Um, and uh, I mentioned the hot glue gun and this piece of wood that everything is sitting on. Well, that's just going to serve as the base of my rain gauge so that when I put it outside, um, it's sitting on something heavy so that the wind, for example, doesn't doesn't topple it over and blow it away and I, I lose all my water that I've accumulated. Um, okay, so those are the components. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just show you how to assemble them. So I've got my hot glue gun plugged in. Um, I'm going to put some glue into it. Whoa. And out comes the glue already, so it's working. And uh, I'm going to glue um, in two places um, the ruler into the mason jar. So let's see if we can accomplish that first. So I'm going to move these glue sticks out of the way. Um, I want the mason jar uh, bottom to be coincident with the ruler bottom. Um, like that, at least as closely as possible. So what I'm gonna do is stick a bunch of glue on the ruler and then I'm gonna put it in there as quickly as I can and, and hold it in place. Uh, now the important thing when you do this, often you might get a ruler that has um, inches 
and centimeters on it. Um, we, at least in the U.S., measure rain accumulation again in inches. So you want to make sure that zero inches corresponds to the bottom of the mason jar, that you don't accidentally flip the ruler over and uh, end up measuring in centimeters instead. Um, so let me give this a whirl. We'll see how this goes. Uh, I'm right-handed, so I'll do this with my right hand. Uh, and... <coughs> insert into the left side. So here comes the hot glue and it should stay hot enough to at least allow me to get the ruler in there. So, okay, I've got the hot glue on the ruler now and then I'm going to stick it in and I'm going to hold it against the bottom of the mason jar until the glue cools. It should just take a few moments. Okay, that seems to be good. So I've now got the glue uh, securing the ruler to the bottom of the mason jar. And now I'm going to flip things over and I'm going to put a little bit more glue uh, in the back here to try to hold the ruler onto the mason jar. So let me stick a little more glue here. And it's okay if it runs down a little bit. That's actually better because it'll hold things in place. And the jar is relatively cool, so the glue should set up uh, almost the moment that it hits the jar. And I think we're all set. Now, um, a question that you may be asking, uh, so that, that looks pretty good. Let me lay this down again so that you can see it. Um, a question that you may be asking is, well, um, if I have this big ruler um, and the mason jar itself is only a couple of inches tall, say four inches tall, why not cut off the ruler um, right there at four inches? And, and if you had just a rain gauge by itself, you could certainly do that. Um, but as we'll see in subsequent videos, um, the height of this ruler actually is a component of a, uh, a second instrument that we're building, uh, the barometer. Um, so I'm going to leave the entire length of the ruler so I can use it to help me in measuring the barometer. Um, the last piece of it now is to take um, my ruler, which is affixed to my <clears throat> mason jar, and attach both of those to the wood so that uh, when I set this up outside, it won't blow away. So I'm going to stick another piece of hot glue into my glue gun, and I'm just going to make a nice big puddle of hot glue. on my board and noting that <coughs> the mason jar itself has a relatively flat bottom. I should be able to just put the mason jar down on this uh, plot of hot glue and it'll cool quite quickly and secure the mason jar to the wood, completing my rain gauge. So that's the hot glue. Here comes the mason jar onto my reservoir of hot glue. And it looks like it's already cooled. So I'm going to clean off this little dab of glue there that was left unintentionally. Check to make sure that that's sealed nicely. It has. Okay, I think the mason jar is in place. Let me just twist it to make sure. Yep, it twists with the wood. So that's a good sign. That means that the uh, glue on the bottom has cured. I can even pick this up now and it's one component. Awesome. And set it down. Uh, so that's it. Um, that is my now working rain gauge. Those are all the steps required to assemble it. Um, and again, I've got a three uh, 
inch diameter opening here, and I'm using uh, inches of water accumulation as my measurement instrument. So when I sit this outside, water will accumulate in the mason jar, and I should be able to read how much rain has accumulated uh, right off of my ruler. All right, uh, this is uh, <clears throat> my backyard. Uh, I live in uh, Bellevue, and as you can see, um, it's a pretty overcast day, uh, high chance of rain. Um, I've got a, a couple carrots that have survived the winter here. Uh, you can see my carrot plants. Uh, but I've also sat out my uh, rain gauge so that we can see what today's rain accumulation is. Uh, so I'll leave it out here um, all day and we will see what happens. Um, I have mounted it uh, or set it out on a, on a flat surface uh, on my fence and um, the opening is, is unobstructed. There aren't any trees or anything around it that would, that would catch the water uh, and upset the measurement. Uh, so all I'm gonna do is just wait a few hours, see if it rains, and figure out um, how much rain we've gotten today. So stand by and I'll be back in a few hours. Okay, uh, I'm back. Uh, it is uh, a few hours later. Uh, we actually had a, a nice uh, torrent of rain here uh, between uh, me setting the rain gauge out uh, and me coming back to check on it. Uh, and as you can see, we have accumulated a, a little bit of water there um, in the container. So I'm now going to just approach it and read it. Uh, the way that, that I read it is I just look at the uh, inches of accumulation on the ruler there. Um, and as you can see, uh, zero of course is right at the bottom and uh, I've accumulated just, just about an inch of water uh, there. You can see there's the one inch mark uh, that's coincident with the level of water. So uh, the rain gauge uh, works. I'm actually gonna <laughs> check the local uh, weather station and see how much, how much water uh, they think we've accumulated today to see how accurate I am. Um, but what is um, good and, and, and easy about this particular rain gauge uh, is that the mouth is, is very wide, remember three inches in diameter, uh, so we do capture uh, quite a bit of rain, um, and so it's, it's easy to take those measurements. So um, that concludes uh, at least this video, which again is the first in a series of four to explain how to make um, a simple weather station with components that uh, are sitting around the house or that you can get in the community. Uh, this is the rain gauge and there will be three more. Um, I, again, am Dr. Matthew J. Trom with Engineer Inc. and the Bellevue Edible Learning Lab, uh, Bell Garden. And please uh, come back and visit us. Uh, check out uh, future videos on um, YouTube that we'll post to show you how to make the other three instruments. Thanks for your attention. Bye.